Chris. Today we are leaving Fort Pierce and going down to Marathon in the Keys. Should take about two to three days. We're going to go blue water this time. I think it's around 300 miles or so. And um, yeah, we'll be there shortly. So we got the dinghy and the paddleboard in the back. Opali is a hydro vane. Everything is mounted, everything is cleared. We got our new bimini. So now we should be waterproof. So let me put the solar panels up. Do that when we get to Marathon. Cleared everything off the top. Strapped our dive tanks down. We have a lifeline there just in case we need to go to the front. We'll strap in. Shouldn't be too choppy though. But I need to clear these porthole covers up so we don't be flying away. But yeah, everything's cleared. I'll show you the inside. Packed away the AC unit, packed everything in there, took a fishing pole out, so it's even for control. Cleared up everything up here. Mostly everything's put away, stuff that can fall we don't really care about. Everything's packed, table is clean, oh yeah. Except for the coffee maker, which we made a bunch of coffee. That's all filled with coffee, because we're gonna be awake for like two or three days straight. So when we go, it's gonna be non-stop. Everything here is good. There's little ledges on these tables so nothing will fall. We have an empty bucket here that you gotta put stuff in, but whatever. And that's about it. All right, later Fort Pierce. Next stop, Marathon. There's my mom and dad with Mia. Hi Mia. Make the sandwich, then eat the sandwich right away. You have King's Hawaiian from Costco, roast beef from Costco, and then cheese from Costco. And then Dijon mustard from the dollar store. And we are starting the uh, all-nighter to get to Marathon in the Atlantic. Um, we're going against the Gulf Stream right now, so we're only going like one to two knots, and it's going to take us forever. So hopefully after we pass this little peninsula, it'll open up a little bit. But it should be an interesting night. So we just had our engine shut off. We think it's the overheating but we're not sure because there is an overheating engine sensor that shuts it off automatically. The oil light came on, oil pressure, so everything, there was no leaks. We opened the vent up for the main engine compartment and it's cooling down. And then it started up after a couple of minutes, so which was good. Nice little scare. And then of course, the Mia had to go pee downstairs while we were working and she peed all over her own bed. Not very smart, huh Mia? Not very smart. Fort Lauderdale. And in the distance, you can see Miami. We are going back to the ICW because the Gulf Stream was too much for us. So we are in Fort Lauderdale, I believe. Turning in. Going through the ICW after Fort Lauderdale is a pain because there's four bridges so far and they only open on the half hour or quarter hour. And our boat's not fast enough to make them. You have to wait like 45 minutes. When it's broken, so only half of it opens. So we are going on one side. It's around 6.30 on Wednesday. We're running for around 30 hours from halfway there. We're at our last scout bridge.
Day two, day three. Hi, Mia. We finally got this anchor thing down. We got a nice anchor. Got the AC going all night. Had dinner. Sleep early. Relaxed. We are on day three, I believe. It's around 11 o'clock. Uh, we have a little bit of wind, so we can give up. And I am pretty tired. It's soft too. So right when we get here, we run aground. Hopefully the restaurant doesn't close. We are finally at Marathon. Finally here. 